to Layer the Alchemist, where we discuss all things heavy metal and hard rock. For today's video, just some quick thoughts on the new Iron Maiden single, Writing on the Wall. This was just world premiered a day or two ago. It's going to be, uh, I'm assuming, on the, their, their next, it is going to be on their next album, I'm sure. Uh, I guess they haven't said, but I'm assuming the album is going to be named Belshazzar's feast because you keep seeing that you know name come up and playing into it into it uh and uh so here's my thoughts on it i thought it was really cool the, the way they built up to this iron maiden does a really good job of uh embracing modern technology and modern ways of thinking of promoting themselves you know there's a lot of legacy bands that, that haven't been able to sort of transition into this new market where you got to approach, uh, you know, promoting things differently than you did in the 80s, the 90s, or even the 2000s. So I thought they did a really good job of sort of hyping this up, dropping some clues and little hints leading up to this that something was coming. Everybody anticipated it was going to be some announcement of a new album. And they had this video that was going to premiere. And, you know, it's like you're invited to Belshazzar's Feast. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> I've, I've actually seen it pronounced a couple different ways. I watched some videos about about it, what it was, you know, the history of it, and I've heard it pronounced a couple of different ways. But, you know, they put this out. Nobody knew what it was going to be. The world premiere of it, I was there right when it came on. There was like 250,000 people or something crazy like that watching it live, which I think is, is great, you know, great way to promote it. Again, Maiden, you know, they're pretty good about embracing these things and using these more modern ways to promote themselves. Their website, for instance, is, is always like up to date and very interactive and engaging. So they hyped this up really well. They built it up really well. I thought the video was really cool. It's funny, I've been watching and researching. Remember that movie, Heavy Metal? <laughs> the, the animated movie from, from the 80s? I've been reading about that and watching some clips from that because I wanted to make a video on it. And the artwork in uh, the animation for Writing on the Wall here reminded me of that style, that older animated kind of style, like in the style of that heavy metal movie. And it was also fun. I think I, think I read somewhere that like people that were involved in Pixar you know, were, were involved in this. It's also cool because uh, there's a lot of little Easter eggs in the video. And if you're interested, you can find the people breaking this down and stop framing and showing you. And I was catching some of it as it went by, you know, little things that represent, there's the Iron Maiden Ed Force One plane and just little, little things that hinted at things from Iron Maiden's past, the different eddies in it. So I thought that was really engaging and I thought it was very, very well done. The song, uh, I liked it. It took me a couple listens to get into it. When I first heard it, I was taken aback. I gotta be honest, by that main riff at the beginning. It sounds like a southern rock. You know, it just sounded like a bluesy, like southern rock uh, type of riff. So it threw me for a loop at first. I was like, I don't know if Iron Maiden's ever really played a riff that sounded quite like that. So, uh, you know, cheers to them for... Uh, for doing something different. Now, this song was written by Bruce and Adrian. Uh, it makes you think that maybe this album is going to be driven a lot by Bruce. Is it going to be a concept album? It's feeling that way. Uh, the song seems to also sort of be setting that up a little bit. I thought the melody in the verse was pretty cool. I thought the chorus was pretty good. It had some nice changes. To it, I liked when the bass came in. I thought that that was that was pretty cool. The production sounded pretty similar to what we've heard, you know, a Kevin Shirley uh, type of production. It should be noted that when I listened to it on streaming, I thought that it sounded like the mix was different than what I heard on YouTube. And I went back and listened to the YouTube version, and it did strike me that maybe they mixed this differently. For the YouTube uh, version than they did for the version that's released at the moment on streaming. So if you're interested, check it out on streaming for just a little bit of a different uh, feel to it. But but I thought it was catchy. The more I listened to it, uh, it, it stuck in my mind. I thought the chorus was, was pretty cool. I think it makes me think, okay, where is this going to go? Which is, I guess, the whole point of this whole thing. It keeps you engaged. It wants you to you know, the song itself, the video and everything, it's making you wonder, okay, what's Maiden's next step? 
gonna be with this. And I think if they do do like a full blown type concept album, I think that could be really fun. I think uh, I've mentioned this before that I think Bruce and Adrian are the strongest songwriters in the band at this point. They're the real leading songwriters. So having Bruce sort of take the lead on something could be really interesting, really cool. I mentioned in my Book of Souls video, Empire of the Clouds, it made me wonder, I wonder if Bruce is going to take a little, do a little bit more stuff like this and take a little bit more control on the next album. And I'm getting the feeling that that might be the case. So, all right. It was a cool song. I thought it was pretty catchy. It grew on me the more, the more I listened to it. It's got my interest you know, up. I'm excited now for what Iron Maiden is going to do next. And hopefully we're going to get a, you know, a new album in the not too distant future. So let me know in the comments down below, what did you guys think of this new Iron Maiden song? Let me know what you thought. Are you excited for a new Iron Maiden album? What do you think that they're going to do with this album? What did you think of the video? Let me know in the comments down below. Until we see you again, make sure you stay heavy, stay metal.